<laughs> I know. So yo, all going. Welcome back to another wonderful episode of the Bourbon Jamaican. It's been a minute, but we have something good for you. What we got? <laughs> <laughs> we got the new uh, release from New Riff came out on Friday, so about three days ago. It is the eight-year bottled and bond, so it's their normal mash bill. 65% uh, corn, 30% rye, and 5% malted barley. Um, this is supposed to be a permanent addition to their normal lineup, and uh, MSRP is $67. That ain't bad, as far as MSRP. Uh, if you go back to a couple of our videos, you'll see that we did uh, selection on a few other ones. I think we did the note, and yeah, we did the high note, and Six year malted rye and the Balboa rye. And so, New Riff has, has come a long way as what's their motto, Chris? A new riff on an old tradition. And they, um, I took the tour last year for the Derby. And, um, you know, they, during the tour, they hinted to the eight year being released this year. And they, uh, they also have, they have one more big release happening this year. And, um, you know, last year we got the yellow lemming and we got the blue cl clarage and um, silver, grove. silver grove. And so it seems like they're, they're releasing about three things each year, but they hinted to the eight year being released this year and, the, and they hinted to another big release that's <coughs> going to be, uh, I think, more towards fall time. Um, at least that was, the, that was the inside scoop that we got from our, from our guy when we took the tour. So, this one is uh, pretty spicy on the nose. It smells to me like I'm standing in a rick house. Yeah. You get that dusty funk and some mash. Yeah, it's got great legs, the color is awesome. It's pretty dark. It is dark. I do get that, uh, that like a uh, maltiness. You're talking about chocolate. Yeah, well, <laughs> right, right before I, Right before the video, I took a little whiff out of the bottle, and um, and it kind of it kind of reminded me of the winter whiskey. It's close, but this one is this pure chocolate oak, but it's pretty. It's got a little bit of a baking spice to it. It's pretty mellow. I like the way it just it coats your tongue. You get that oily flavor, but then you get that warm hug going down. So initially on the nose, it smells spicy. But on the sip, it kind of coats your tongue. So even like now, after taking that initial sip, I'm starting to get like different flavors and different notes on different parts of the tongue. But continuously getting that that warm hug. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of complexity to it. But you, what's surprising is it is bottle and bond. It's 100 proof, and it actually has a pretty long finish to it. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm kind of impressed with it. And it when I like when I drink a bourbon. I love that that coating of the tongue, the the oil base coating to the tongue, and it's it, it's definitely got that. I'm picking up I'm picking up a lot of vanilla. Yeah. I got a lot of vanilla on it. Yeah, I'm I'm coming off the flu, <laughs> so my palate's not what it normally is. But I think it drinks I think it drinks pretty hot. Yeah. Personally, I think it drinks every bit of the hundred proof. I think it's very concentrated. I think it's got a nice. <clears throat> Uh, viscosity to it. I beg, I beg to differ, and I'm always the one complaining about it being too hot. But for some reason, this one it's pretty smooth, even coming in at 100 proof. Yeah, I figured it was just me. Everything's hot to me, <laughs> but it's. I mean, uh, make sure y'all comment in the section, uh, comment section. Uh, congrats to Brady. He went one week without drinking anything. So we we gotta have a round of applause for that. You know what I mean? But um, I definitely get that strong white cocoa though. I on the palate, on the palate, you know, the oil base is just so thick. It's still there. You know, it's hard for me to pick up certain things. Yeah. Um, I feel like the nose carries to the palate though. You mentioned the Rick House, and yeah. and it definitely, <coughs> if you could taste a Rick House, you know, you you pick up some of the dusty notes. You you pick up some of the you know. I would almost say molasses in a way, but the, it, that's where the caramels, you get that caramels, vanilla, I get the vanilla. You know what it reminds me of is that OCD 
Yep, it sure does. Where it, it just it smells and tastes like you're standing in a rick house, and it's got a dusty, uh, chocolatey note to it. So what was it? What was what was the MSRP at, at the distillery? Sixty seven, right? Sixty seven dollars. Yeah. So after taxes, you're looking at what seventy one, seventy two bucks, something like that. Yeah. So at a hundred proof, I mean seventy dollars. I I would say it's a dub there. The one, definitely. The one thing I'm very curious about is if their normal bottled and bond bourbon is four years and it's normally what forty yeah. bucks. If this is only $27 more, a lot of people are going to be jumping towards this, especially as it becomes more available. Yeah. So are they going to start producing less of that four-year bottle and start making more of this? Or do you guys think they'll keep making that four-year but start lowering <coughs> the price to have something that competes with like a Wild Turkey 101, like yeah. Creek closer to $30? Well, I think that's what they got I, in their single barrel already. I think that they'll phase out the four year. You think so? Yeah, I, I think. I think that would make sense. I think once once they get the reaction from everybody on this eight year here, they'll they'll just invest into yeah. the four year wait yeah. time. I think they'll keep the four year rye and get rid of the four year bourbon. This, Have that four year rye as your mixer. Yeah. You know, honestly, this has a little. You know, both of you mentioned the the spice effect to it, and like it has a little bit of that rye spice to it. You yeah. know. Yeah. Um, Definitely so surprisingly but it definitely uh it drinks well yeah if you made it made it this far into the video if you're new please subscribe like share our returning viewers absolutely adore you guys thank you guys for the support we are uh, trying to get to that 500 sub mark i think we're about 70 70 30 or 7 70 70 subscriptions away uh, so please continue to show us love. We definitely appreciate it. But with that, if you see the new Riff 8 here, <coughs> definitely go out, get it, try it. It will not disappoint. You got anything to add, guys? Let us know if you guys have tried it and what you guys think.